All right, this one's going to be on an update to a script I did like nine months ago. Um, if you want to watch that video, it's in the description. Actually, if you watch that video now, everything will be updated and um, all the changes will be the same thing. It's just the script will be, uh, you know, updated. However, this video will explain you why I did it. Um, now, the reason is because um, last time we did this and, you, you know, once you do your LVs. So let's say, for example, I search for something here. So this is pulling up a FCF um, list of it was a search for all LPs. So basically all your search engines in here. And if I search for like Google, right? Uh, let's say for example, W3M Reddit. And you know, you have our results. Uh, the thing was that is that after you get your result, um, it will always be like, if I open like uh, my address bar, right? Uh, right now, I set it to the current uh, URL we're on, but uh, the default way the last time was that it was empty, and I always hated that because if you're on the current page, let's say for example, I'm searching, um, was it the Arch Wiki, right? And I search for like W3M, right? So we're at uh, W3M, and if I ever want to, you know. Um, change the page to something else I can just edit really quick here right let's say tmux and I couldn't do that last time because um, our default um, what was that behavior was that this thing was always empty and you would have to type out you know the whole um, URL again which is not something you want to do and you know the, the the current URL is always the default behavior on GUI web browsers so I want it to be the same way with W3M and now we can actually do that um, when we're doing this here so uh, as far as the script here pretty much the same stuff uh, you do need the uh, well whatever clipboard you use if you want to use XLEC as uh, which one is this one this one is the control V one so this is like the you know the system clipboard right so in here all you gotta do is set your um, your default to zero and then um, default to one at one we're ending it so what I mean by that is that uh, give me an example here if you go to your uh, W3M uh, settings right uh, go to your default here so line 137 here right so a default value for open URL command and our uh, which one was this here so last time we did was none, and that's really not what you want to do. That's why it was empty. Now we want to set it to current URL. Uh, you can do link URL, but you have to be on the link, and then you know you can edit that one. But really, what you want to do is the current URL because uh, uh, that's the default behavior on like all the web browsers, even GUIs, right? Anyways, um, so what you have to know in here is that none means zero, current. Uh, URL means one and then link URL means two. All right. So what we want to do is use one for the current URL here and make sure you save this, you know, hit okay. And then you probably have to exit out of W3M to make changes. But as far as the script, um, you know, that's what it's going to do here when you do uh, your clipboard. So it will set it to zero because we want everything to be empty when we do our pace. Right. Uh, so clear the uh, address bar nothing's on it paste our address bar and then uh, reset it back to um, allow our address bar to have the current URL and that's pretty much all I did for the updates on this and that applies to all of these other um, what is this xclip uh, primary clipboard all right and this one is the uh, tmux clipboards too all right uh, pretty much it for that. And as far as the other script that we're using is FCF Surfraw here. The only thing I changed in here was that we don't have to have two scripts no more. Last time we did was two scripts, uh, a Tmux script and a uh, like a X11 uh, script. We don't need that anymore. We just need one script here, and this one will paste um, or it'll grab all the URL, all the uh, yeah, all our URLs in. Um, in our clipboard at one time so it will be in our xlec uh, primary 
our system clipboard and our tmux clipboard at the same time since we're not using all three at the same time it doesn't matter if we copy to it or not so um yeah that's pretty much it and uh, the way that you'll set this up is you know you, you add your hotkeys to your um w3m key map and in here you just tell it you know fcf surf raw um a script that we have our cgi script and uh whatever clipboard you want to use so you want to use your primary from uh, x11 you can do that or if you're using like a headless you know um server kind of thing and you're using tmux you can use the tmux clipboard and uh you don't need any x session to to do that so uh either or it's up to you however you want to do it but um that's pretty much for the updates and you know whenever i use this now it will just set it back to default so if i'm searching you know aur uh w3m or something like that All right um and I want to edit this uh, URL that I'm running on. I can set O and you know, I can change it in here if you like, although this one looks uh, all messed up here. But let's say for example, I just delete all that and let's say I search for Tmux. Hopefully that will work here. Um, there we go. We have some Tmux stuff here, right? So there you go. That's how you have your FCF, Surf Raw, W3M and once you're done with all that, it'll set it back to their current URL as our default address bar, um, you know, um, filled out. And here you can use, you know, your Emacs hotkeys and you, you can still delete stuff and stuff like that real quick if you're using an Emacs hotkeys. Anyways, that's the update. And um, if you watch the first video, uh, it should be the same thing. I mean, I don't have to like go over it again, but um, you know the same setup on there although the uh changes will be uh um you know it will change uh, all the stuff but the video is still relevant because it's the same process anyways anywho that's it for this uh update um i don't think i can improve the script anymore but that's it that's it for this one